What's up guys uh, welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Shreyas and uh, today I'm going to share a very tasty chicken recipe as you can see I'm using chicken breast here you can use chicken thighs chicken legs chicken with bone anything okay so a lot of people have a misconception that chicken breast is the only chicken part you should be eating the reason why most people eat it is because it is easier to track right we all know the macros in the chicken breast but it's very hard to get the chicken breast when you eat all uh, the individual chicken pieces together right so again one secret or one tip that i want to share is always make sure that you slice your chicken breast to very medium to small size you know because i've noticed chicken breast cooks very fast first of all and secondly it is very easy to you know make it very tender otherwise most people complain that chicken breast is very rough and very you know hard to eat and it's very hard to cook it when it's large so that is why you know make sure as you can see these are the sizes that i would recommend recommend so after that take all your uh, chicken slices and this is another part that i've recently realized makes the recipe way better okay when you add pepper you get that kick out of the whole recipe okay and uh, yes chili powder also gives it gives it a kick but pepper is a different taste you know so add some salt around a half a tablespoon and uh, after that you can uh, take some pepper powder and just sprinkle over the chicken and uh, trust me when you base it with pepper it'll you know when you put it into the dish and then you make the whole recipe it'll taste really good and you'll get that peppery uh, you know uh, flavor in the uh, dish or the recipe and just uh, in every recipe of mine you always need to do some hand job and here also i'm doing it very fast and uh, you know this will uh, let it will let it rest for 5 to 10 minutes and meanwhile uh, you're going to slice one onion okay one large onion and the reason i'm using onion is because you know onion again it is one of the most flavorful uh, items that you can add in a recipe again you can dice it you can slice it at the end of the day when you cook it for 15 minutes it will you'll never feel that there was any there were any onions in the dish okay so i'm going to dice it slice it and again as you can see the flame right this is the uh, another, another secret this is another secret you need to always cook chicken breast or this recipe at least at high flame and uh, then add butter 15 grams of butter to start off and i'm using 300 grams of chicken okay this is 15 grams of butter if you're asking me how do you know because i measured it when i'm putting it in the on the pan and uh, this is 15 grams of butter and make sure guys you never should let make sure that you never let your butter burn okay uh, when you burn the butter you will taste that in your recipe if you like burnt stuff you know go for it but uh, i wouldn't recommend you burn your butter and make sure that you always keep on adding something onto the pan to make sure that the butter doesn't burn so before this gets very hot i make sure that i add the onions and again for the onion you make sure that you know it's going to cook throughout the process or throughout the recipe so you don't have to caramelize it or make it uh, brown in color or anything just let it get soft and again as you can see i'm spreading it all over the pan and you know, let it just uh, get soft because it will cook later on uh, when we add the chicken and so on right after that uh, i'm going to add a little bit of capsicum now you can add capsicum for chicken breast recipe and if you're cooking chi cooking the chicken with bone you can add tomatoes okay tomatoes will give it a nice tangy flavor but uh, today there was capsicum and we all know during lockdown we can't have access to everything every single day that is why i'm using capsicum you can use tomatoes as well but for tomatoes i recommend chicken with bone because i like to cook chicken with bone for uh, a longer period of time okay just uh, put the chicken you know spread it all over the pan and the chicken will start cooking from the bottom right now we are going to start uh, adding the spices uh, you know a little bit of uh, turmeric again turmeric is great for your uh, overall health i've spoken about that right then you add uh, jeera powder coriander powder and uh, uh, garam masala garam masala is again like a magic uh, ingredient okay after that uh, you need to add chili powder again i am a south indian i like my stuff spicy if you don't want that much chili make sure you add half to 1 tablespoon again salt so total we have added almost 1 tablespoon of salt first of all to base the chicken initially and now uh, to start off the recipe and again water okay you can add as much water as you want but as you can see i'm adding a glass of water almost a glass of water and uh, around 150 to 200 ml okay after that uh, you let it uh, mix you know just mix the whole thing and make sure that you know all the spices every part of or every piece of chicken comes in contact with all the spices that you have added because let's be honest guys if any one of those pieces you know 
doesn't taste good you will be turned off and that recipe won't be good right so make sure you mix it thoroughly and uh, let it rest you know as you can see the water or the uh, gravy is already getting evaporated and the, it is becoming lesser and lesser in quantity and again do not close the lid okay no closing the lid in this recipe because we want everything to become dry except the chicken chicken has to be juicy and for the chicken to be juicy the whole liquid the chicken has to absorb all the moisture and then i added some butter 10 grams of butter again guys a lot of people will be like oh my god you're adding a lot of butter remember these are my macros you don't have to add those that extra 10 grams of butter but uh, it will only make things thicker the recipe will be much more thicker at the end uh, with very less gravy okay then curry leaves another again i'm a south indian as you all know so need to mention that because curry leaves are very famous over here and uh, i like to add them in every recipe and you get that beautiful fragrance uh, to your recipe if you go closer i know you can't smell it over here but you can you get that fragrance right and then after 10 to 15 uh, 10 to 12 minutes close the lid turn off the gas and leave it rest it for two minutes and uh, you know ta -da! you have your recipe in mr bean's voice and uh, you can enjoy it guys so that's all you know hope you guys enjoyed it check try it out for yourself and let me know how it tastes